Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio. With an amazing young guy by the name of Corey Bell. Corey, what is up, my brother? What's going on, man? Happy to be here. Great to have you. So he is a strength and conditioning coach. He works with professional and Olympic athletes all over the world. And why he's really on the Jay Campbell podcast is because he is a child of the light and he stood his ground against the enforcement of the V compliance uh, back when they were pressuring everybody and it cost him his job. And you know, it's amazing as I, didn't tell you this, but you know, you and I were just talking off air. I just actually talked to a guy yesterday who was a big financial, uh, big wig in the city, New York City, who also mm -hmm. did the same thing as you did. So, like, I really have to applaud you, bro. You know, not to blow smoke up your ass, but like, mm -hmm. you know, I I make a big deal of people who really truly are walking the path. And you know, when you are literally forced to lose your job or stand your ground, and you lose your job, it shows you that you really know why you're here. You know, it's about soul evolution and growth. It's not about a fucking job. Right, right. It's right. not about like, oh, will you make this amount of money and you got to pay this mortgage and you got to pay this bill. I mean, none of that shit means anything in the bigger picture, which is standing for your soul's principles. And so the fact that you did it, bro, I got to say mad props, man. No doubt, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so as I've been doing here, Dude, we're in a weird time, right? Like you can look at the world right now as like half, you know, glass half full because there's all these amazing biomedical technologies that you and I are involved in on almost mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. And then there's also just the crazy, you know, unravelment of the third dimension and all of its constructs from financial systems to, you know, me the medical system. I mean, everything from food, mm -hmm. you know, all the shit that's happening. So, and it's an opinion question for you, but like, where do you see us going you know, say next two to three to five and maybe even a 10 year horizon. Like, are you short or long humanity? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm a short humanity at this point, man. You know, I like to use a phrase and it's, it's really termed in our communities. The veil is thinning. It's getting real yeah. thin. You know, stuff yeah. is falling apart. And what, in my opinion, what's really falling apart is the, the construct of the man. Yeah. And, you know, how society, how the man moves is how society moves. Yeah. And when you have weaker men, you have weaker societies and things just crumble all the way around. I mean, dude, I'm not a man of not many words, but making yeah. a huge impact. Yeah. I mean, that's literally the truth, bro. Like, yeah. I mean, I know, you know, you're familiar with my books from Lance that yeah. told me that and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's crazy, right? Cause like I've been writing about this since 2014, you know, back when like nobody was listening and I was telling people like they were, uh, you know, essentially desecrating the environment through EDCs. Yeah. And, you know, phytoestrogens and, and, you know, and now it's full spectrum annihilation. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's the electromagnetic frequencies. It's mm -hmm. the water, it's the air, it's the plastics. I mean, everything, you know, I talk mm -hmm. about this, like we don't even realize that when we have our cell phones, we put them in these like high resin grade poly, right. you know, uh, plastiz plasticizers mm -hmm. that when we pick up, it goes through our cuticles you know, into our biological and endocrinological systems. And it's like, sh you know, lessening our fertility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're getting zapped. We're getting zapped everywhere, man. And, it, and it's like, well, you're, you're trying to hold on to your consciousness. You're trying to hold on to the little vibration that you have. And it's coming from all angles. We're living in a microwave, literally. You literally know? And living was, in a microwave, bro. Yeah. And, and, and people think it's just physical. It's really spiritual and mental at the deepest context. Like it, it's, you are being removed from your, your willpower. And when you are removed from your willpower, then you can be controlled physically, emotionally, mentally. It doesn't matter, man. But but it's uh it's uh it's not enough people really willing to stand up and fight back. And um that that's that's where I just I just can't get with that. You know, that's not that's not the man that my mom raised. Um that's not what I I, I know that's not what my wife wants either. And uh I like to say I stand ten toes down, man. And if we had that's more awesome, people bro. stand ten toes down, uh I think we'd be in a better place. But 
got a short, got a short time. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, exactly. I mean, we all know what's coming, you know, I mean, look, the way I look at this right now, I agree with everything you just said, and we're going to get to your story in a second, yeah. but like the way I look at this now as when people ask me, cause you know, I'm all about the golden age and the new earth, but when mm-hmm. people ask me like, you know, looking at the ominous, you know, foreground and obviously what's coming, we're going to have financial collapse. I mean, we're going to have societal collapse, right? Yeah. Cause the, the normies, you know, the unaware, the unawakened, whatever you want to call them, they're not mm-hmm. ready. You know, you and me and people like us, and thankfully there are most, that's most of the people that watch this show, but like, mm-hmm. we're going to be like, okay, right? Like I tell people all the time, like we might see an 18 foot Nephilim walking down the street, eating people. And we'll be like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, well, you know, that was the way it was back then. Yeah. 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 No, but no these doubt. people have no clue. No, no clue at all. They'll man. be like, it's CGI. Right. <laughs> There's no I've, I've been movie. Yeah. Yeah. I've been telling people lately, like, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of funny, like the Lord of the Rings and, and as much spirituality and, and characters and content it's all real, in the bro. movie. No, it's real. It's, 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 it's almost 100% like, real. You, you know what yeah. I mean? And it's, and these movies actually prep us for the norm. That's just like exactly right. right now, um, uh, Wakanda forever. that just came out. That movie is strictly an, an attack on the patriarchal system. Exactly. You know, and yeah. people don't see that. Like it's, it's all scripted. Bro. So. It's insane. I'm so glad you, yeah, you have eyes to see and ears yeah. to hear. Uh, I mean, I mean, dude, even the newest uh, token thing that just was on Amazon, which, by the way, is awesome, is, yeah. this, it, you know, Sauron, you know, they're showing him in that, if you watch it, as like this, you know, dude who just like morphs in amongst us and survives because he's obviously, you know, a, 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 what would you call it? Like a, um, what are they, an immortal. He's an immortal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, he's just going through time and going through time and stuff like that. And it's mm-hmm. like, even in that, they're telling you that there really truly are immortal beings yes. amongst us. Yes. And they are, you know, Pierre Sabak, the author, the great author, you know, he talks about calls, he calls it emergent system games. And so you've got like, mm-hmm. call him Elohim. Yeah. So you've got like these good Elohim and dark mm-hmm. Elohim. Mm-hmm. And they're like playing this game with us, you know, call us the, the people or the sheeple or whatever you want to call us amidst us. Some of us have light, some of us have dark. Mm-hmm. And they're literally wanting us to expand vibrationally consciously Mm -hmm. so that we stop with this duality enslavement system of divide and conquer. Right. But they're, as you know, they're playing both sides at all times. They're waiting for us to wake up. Like they don't make it easy. It's just what the V and I'm going to get, it's a perfect segue to get to your story, but it's like, they told you us, everyone watching this show that it was an experiment that you couldn't sue them Mm -hmm. that if you died, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I mean, they basically are again the universal law. They're telling you don't take it. Yeah, but like they're putting that you know societal pressure of your job or you know. So again, it's a spiritual battle, as you said at the very beginning of this. They're taking through their technological enslavement and their yes. entrainment and yes. their MK Ultra mass mm-hmm. mind control. They're taking your willpower away, so you have mm-hmm. to stand up spiritually and say, "Oh no, no, yeah. my line in the sand is I'm not." taking right. experimental gene therapy. I don't care about my job. I don't care about money. I don't mm-hmm. care about any of these things. My life and my soul is what I care for. Right. Right. Cause that's, that's uh, essentially that's, what's going to last, you know, you're that's, depending yeah. on your belief and everything like that, you know, that your body's going to go away, but I'm going to touch on what you said, man. And uh, you know, the, the one weapon, the main weapon that they use is fear. You know, everybody is afraid of everything. You know, and yeah, exactly. It's a low vibrational tactic, man. And people are so consumed in fear. They're so consumed in fear, you know, COVID and, and, and this. And what if this is going to happen if you don't do this? And, you know, I got a lot of buddies. We'll get into the story here in a second. But I got a lot of, a lot of buddies who, who did it just because they didn't feel as strong as me. But, you know, that decision right there, that, that may have really altered your future. You know, probably did. You it know? altered their soul future, yes. most likely. Yes, 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 man. So I just, I just, you know, a lot of people say I'm not scared of anything, but you don't really know that until you're put on the line. That's and, right. Uh, you know, it's, right. it's, it's a prize to have, really. Well, t- well, well, feel free to share your story. But before you do, let me just say, yeah, man, like people who are not like really, truly focused on what's important and they get caught up in the matrix, right? They yeah. get caught up in the grind. They get caught right. up in the shiny things, right. you know, ha- the have the have things. So let's always say the having of mm-hmm. stuff. It's mm-hmm. like until you start recognizing like that's not what matters. You're right. You don't take it for granted. You know, you look at guys like you and me and you say we're conspiracy nutters. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Woo woos, whatever you want to call us. But it's like, no, dude, like this has been a spiritual war from the beginning. Like, I don't give a shit if you didn't read the Bible or didn't understand the Bible or you were raised Catholic or Christian or Jewish or fucking Muslim or whatever. It's all the same shit. It's like yes. a splinter of bullshit. Yes. Right. Like they want you conditioned to believe in the external. Mm -hmm. Because as long as you believe in the external savior, whether it's a politician, the doctor, you know, your priest, mm -hmm. whoever it is to you, mm -hmm. you take your disempowered, they, you, they take your power away. Because like you mm -hmm. said, you give your power away when you're in fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you get caught up in the natural. You get caught up in the natural. We, we need to we need to be aware that we are spiritual beings at, at the deepest, most the deepest level. And, and that's what's being attacked. And if you can, if you can control that, everything else will be controlled. And, you know, I'll go into the story. So I was uh, um, a strength and conditioning coach, like you mentioned. I was working at Boston College. This is my second location. I was first at Ohio State. Uh, went over to Boston College. I was there for a year. Uh, as soon as I got there, some COVID hit. Obviously, uh, if you know the territories of, of uh United States, you know how they swing. So I was in Massachusetts. Yeah, <laughs> man. The Northeast, <laughs> Yeah, so you can, you can imagine me. total can imagine. fear, like fear apocalypse yeah. up there. Bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was it was nuts, absolutely nuts. People people were in uh, full blown biomedical suits walking down the street, man. Insane, it was it was, a, it was a movie. So um, anyway, went throughout the year, played a whole year with 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 COVID, and and nobody's in the stands and everything like that. And uh, you know, I I put in an exemption, um, went through all these different protocols, and they denied me. You know, plain and simple. Um, and and that was from administration. I did have some backing from from my colleagues, and you know, I don't I don't want to take away from them. Yeah. Um, understanding, yeah. you know, but at the same time, you know, I, I do have a conflict. My my wife was due within thirty days when I got fired, man. Within thirty days, I was a semester away from getting my master's, and it wow. was stripped from me. It was taken from me. You know, man. thankfully they uh they um I, I I was I did have my baby there in Boston. Um. Everything worked out. Um, I door dashed for a month just so I wouldn't go crazy until sure. I started my new job. Yeah. Uh, just as, as a man, you got to put your feet yeah, on the ground. Of course, man. Yeah. Do whatever it takes, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, ended up working at a, a New Mexico Military Institute. Um, spent the past year there before coming to my new job here in Orange, Texas at a high school. But it was a really rough time. But I, it was it was one of the greatest decisions I've made in my life. Because right there, I did define my character in that moment. Man, that's awesome that you just said it. Cause I was literally just gonna say that to you. Look, yeah. man, I know you know this, and you're a little bit younger than me, but like we're here to evolve and grow our soul. Yeah. And that's it. At base essence, we are literally plasmatic energy beings, vibrating particles, standing waves. You know, yeah. as Dr. Jerry says, you hope to be an oscillating wave, right? right? Yeah. 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 Torsion. But like mm -hmm. the truth is, is like we can't evolve and grow our soul. Corey, unless we deal with contrast and struggle and difficulty. And so you just, that was just a test. You, you, yeah. you, you just were battle tested. Now you're battle tested, but that was one of the many tests that you're going to experience. And look, all of us, mm -hmm. especially those of the light are going to get hammered yes. over the next two or three years. And so yes. now it's like, ah, it's nothing, you know, right. like what can they do to me now? Other than like mm -hmm. literally take my physical life. And sometimes mm -hmm. when I think about that, I'm like, that's freedom. Yes. Because yeah. now I'm actually at base essence free mm -hmm. to do what I, you know, what mm -hmm. God has me do next. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I mean, it's right. like, you're right, man. There's no reason to be fearful. Right. These physical bodies and these jobs and this money and this currency and all this bullshit that we're involved in. It's not even real. No, no, it's not. But it's you got to get to a recognition of that. Right. Right. And, and that's the hard part. People, the, the recognition of that is the difficulty. And that's where the war starts. You know, keep on putting exactly. putting more and more stuff in front of you. You know, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be like, I, I, I remember living up in Boston during this time, man, and, and standing in line. And, oh, dude, you know, I can't imagine. 15 people in a grocery store at a time. And God forbid you pull your mask down and talk to somebody. <laughs> and act like, to talk. Yeah, oh. and you're talking in the mask and they're talking in the mask. Yeah. And you're like, I can't fucking hear you. What yeah, are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was, an, it was a, it was a, it was a circus, man. So. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy experience, but well, just walking down the street, you realize like, okay, I'm, I'm living in, I'm living in like the Sims. You remember the computer game, the Sims? Straight up, bro. Straight oh up. my gosh. It was, it was a wild time. It was a wild time. But you know, like I said, it was, uh, things happen in life to prepare you for the next moment. You know, there was, there was decisions in my life that I had to make leading up to then. And that decision is going to allow me to make more decisions down the road. And I'm thankful for that.
We need so to be your wife, I got to ask, your wife obviously was in full support that you said yeah. no and she didn't care. She was like, I know you're going to take care of me, baby, right? Yeah, she, she was in full support. I mean, it was, it was again, I could have been operating in fear as right. a husband, as, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a right. father. You had a really high paying job and you're like, hey, I, my, I'm about to have a baby. Just give me, you know, inject me. And I know yeah. a lot of people did do that, right? And yes. like, we yes. don't have judgment or condemnation of them. You do what you got to do. But at the end right. of the day, there are repercussions yeah. for the decisions that you make. Right. Right, man. Right. And that, and that is a spiritual decision. It always was. I mean, like, 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 I know, you know, you've had conversations with Lance. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had many conversations with Lance, Lance Shuttler. Lance, shout yeah. out to you, bro. Yeah, man. Ascent, AscentNutrition.com. But like, yeah, you know, uh, we talk about this all the time. Like, you really do have to look at your life as like various quantifiable decisions that you've made, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you think about like, you know, we as souls, we consented to be here. We, we're here for this time specifically. That's I'm sure true. we've been here. Bro, we've probably had many go rounds, right? Yeah, like yeah, we're definitely awesome. here now because like we know we're coming up to like the quickening or whatever this change is going to be, the shift, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. But it's mm -hmm. like you really do have to look back at your life as a series of choices. Yeah. And when it comes to spiritual choices, if you're that like call it, like you said, fear-based, dissonant, mm -hmm. incoherent, yeah. like you don't even understand the things that we're talking about. And I'll liken it to the next point because it's about sticking to your core values and beliefs. Yeah. Bro, you know this. The people out there right now who chose the V will still support it to their death. Yeah. Like, like they can't even be debated. Like, you know, it's an echo chamber. You know, when you're in the fear and you're in the cognitive dissonance echo chamber, it doesn't matter what you or me or right. anybody like us can show you. And this is what I say now, like this is way beyond conspiracy theory, because if you know mm -hmm. any attorneys, all of the state appellate courts are filling up with related yes. injuries. Yes. And there yes. is no debating this. Right. This is not conspiracy theory. You and I are not two tinfoil nutters talking right. about what it is. This is scientific data based statements that we're making now. Yeah, and, and Jay, I'll, I'll touch on that, man. There's a there's a huge spike in um, cardiovascular issues among athletes in, athletes. in my profession. Athletes, you know, my, myocarditis and all this type yes. of stuff. It's, you know, I mean, we got 18 to 30 year olds passing out in the middle of the field, you know, and people are wondering, oh, why and this and that, and they're trying to link, um, you know, it's, it's red meat, it's this, it's that, it's all this right. type of stuff. I, right. I, I, there's only one thing that it is. You know? <laughs> there's only one thing. And it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. And they're still trying to normalize it, Corey. They're right. putting out shit about like right. people that take cold showers. No. I mean, dude, I've seen every nonsensical, a bizarre, you know, it's almost now become a meme on the internet. Yeah. Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. Yes, yes, yes indeed. But yeah, bro, they are normalizing SADS, yeah. sudden adult death syndrome. Mm -hmm. They yeah. really, really are. They're normalizing. I mean, you saw it just an athlete a football player at San Jose State just the other mm -hmm. day. I mean, it, 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 it's all being suppressed. Yeah, yeah. and even even uh, I believe it was JJ Watt not too long ago. There was it was his heart. Yeah, was he literally had a vascular injury. He almost died. They covered yeah. it up he, only because he announced it. Jeez, man, it's crazy. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. nuts, bro. Yeah, but you know what? You know, let's throw a shout out to what's his name, the point guard at New Jersey. You know, yeah. Yeah, stood his ground. He stood up like you did. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They couldn't do anything. He wasn't right. even allowed to play in New right. York City. It's so demonic. Yeah, it is. It is, man. It is. And, and they, they set up these, they set up these, uh, I don't want to call them silos, but, you know, I'm the enemy for, for my decision totally. in society. I'm the right. enemy. People like you and you and me, we're, we're the enemy. We're, we have to be eradicated. We have to be erased. You we know, that's what they set up this. Oh, yeah. yeah. That we are literally in awesome. this job. Well, look, man. I mean, this podcast can go anywhere from this direction because it's so profound at this point. But like yeah. in eight months from now, mm -hmm. we ain't going to be nut jobs. No, no. <laughs> I, I mean, this winter, we already know they're all, I mean, again, and they always, they always telegraph what they're mm -hmm. going to do. 
Yeah. You know, they're already telling people in the EU that there's mm -hmm. going to be power outages from yes. four to eight. I have friends in London and Ireland and Belfast who mm -hmm. sent me the updates that they get on their cell phones saying, uh, be ready for the rolling blackouts. Now, remember, bro, this is in places where it's 10 degrees or less in the it's winter. Crazy. It's crazy. And it's I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to remind people of the term. Death. Yeah. I'm going to remind people of a term that was thrown around last year, but it wasn't last winter. Yeah, it was dark, dark winter. winter. Dark winter. Dark winter. It wasn't last winter. It might be this year. You, Biden yeah. said it. Yeah, he said yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, man. Dark He's winter. He's a mouthpiece for these demons. Exactly. Whoever yeah. that actor that plays him is. I mean, right. I mean, the whole thing is a farce, bro. But but yeah, but yeah like I said, like if you are this, like you said, fear-based, yeah. you're dissonant, you're incoherent as a frequency, mm -hmm. and you are not aware of this stuff, then you get what you deserve. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. You freeze to death in your apartment. I mean, look, dude, I, you know, I'll be, you know, as a guy who lived in LA, mm -hmm. you know, very similar to the Northeast, up yeah. the, you know, there, you know, again, like you said, the blue check cities, they, yeah. they did the same shit. They rolled it out, but LA, New York, Boston, all these yeah. cities were absolutely demonic still are. Yeah. We saw what happened because remember right after that was, uh, the, what's it call it in, uh, 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 what was it? Min Minneapolis, the guy yeah. that you know supposedly yeah, got George stopped Rubio. and killed, right? And then were yeah. all the riots in all the major cities. Like, yeah. my wife's uh, brother is a robbery homicide detective in mm -hmm. Rampart, the toughest part of the city, the inner inner city precinct in LA. And he, we yeah. were at a barbecue on a Sunday, and he told us he's like, man, you know, they already defunded the whole police department, as you know, they did that everywhere, mm -hmm. New York, LA. Yeah. He's like. The next time something like this goes down, because this was in uh end of July, so it was like yeah. two months past. He's like, Yeah, we ain't coming. Yeah, you, you call 911, we ain't coming. Right. Yeah. So my wife and I heard that, and bro, that was it. We're like, we're leaving LA. We're we we did not care about our jobs, we didn't care about we own a residential real estate company. Mm -hmm. We were like, we're moving. Yeah, we are moving, we are selling, and we are moving and we are relocating, and it doesn't matter. But bro, right. most people they can't do it. No. I mean, imagine still living in L.A. I just read something on Twitter yesterday about from a famous blue check liberal mm -hmm. talking about how L.A. is a war zone now. Oh, that it's yeah. like one step away from anarchy. And, bro, look, man, I'm 60 miles away from there now. Yeah. I, as I say, when people ask me, where do you live? I'm like, I'm outside of the blast radius of San Diego. <laughs> <in LA." laughs> yeah. But no, but truthfully, like I'm yeah. far enough away that yeah. I don't have to worry about like getting caught in that city when the next thing goes down, because bro, mm -hmm. it's true. There isn't any, uh, what do you call it? Civil service coming to help anybody. Mm -hmm. And it's all you, been defunded. Yeah. And, and going back to that, to the initial event that you mentioned, I mean, if you look at that, you play the numbers, there's something weird about stuff like that always happening in May, you know, from, from, from a, from a demonic standpoint, brothers. Well, it's I, the CIA I, I, fucking with everybody. Oh, without a doubt, man. If people don't, but anyway, that's a whole nother, Dude, we can go in for hours. Well, I mean, remember, stuff. I just have to say this because I know you already know, but like, yeah. it was such a farce. Again, they're they're making fun of the normies. Yes, because on the funeral day, mm -hmm. they had a casket that was for like a four foot midget, and the dude is six six. Yeah, yeah. So they're literally laughing in your face if you're mm -hmm. literally playing their bullshit line because it's yeah. obviously organized by yeah. them to create conflict and strife mm -hmm. amongst us. Exactly. exactly. I mean, it's not a racial thing. The whole yeah. thing is a scam designed to create mayhem in mm -hmm. the cities. They were literally trying to seed destruction mm -hmm. amongst the you know everyone. Yes, they, they, they plant the seed and the people who live in fear operate in it. That's and and exactly they, they right. do this, they do it by themselves. That's exactly right. I just remember watching that day because I don't watch TV. I know you don't either, but you know, yeah. people will send you a link on Twitter or Instagram yeah. and you see the video. And I remember, and, and the guy who was putting it there says, Wow, so and so was six six. That literally is a four foot two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they literally leave clues. To let the people, let's just call them the sheeple, like that mm -hmm. haven't still woken up, like, hey guys, we're fucking with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it, it's 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 crazy. And look what came from it. The whole the whole yeah. BLM movement. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, that these, whole thing is such these, a demonic enterprise. My God. Look at the people that run it. Yes, yes, they're 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 buying houses. Look at the cities. The cities have never repaired. 
like take for instance, they're supposed to be going to uh, the black community or or the low Dude. economic, socioeconomic community. It's worse off than what it was before. Oh, it's the biggest sham. All yeah. of it. And, and look, it's yeah. not just now. They no, were doing this yet. shit back in the 60s. Yes. You know, like yes. if you look at Napoleon, uh, what's his name? Dr. Anthony Napoleon wrote the book Shadow Men. And he literally mm. talks about the feminism movement, the women's yeah. liberal movement in the 60s mm. was a cover. Check this out to get another tax paying citizen into mm. the workforce so that mm. they could generate more money off of all of us. Cause we're all fucking cattle slaves to them. Yeah. I, I, I know that. I, Remove the woman from mm-hmm. the home, destroy mm-hmm. the nuclear family, mm-hmm. tell the woman that she's just as powerful and as strong as the man go into the mm-hmm. workforce. You deserve to make the same amount of money. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. what are they doing? They're disrupting the nuclear family. Just like in the seventies, when they moved the uh, the welfare act and took the man out of the household because your exactly. family got more money if the husband wasn't there. Exactly, bro. And wow. now you and I know that the last thirty years, the reason that men are such pussies—they're so mm-hmm. soft. Yeah, they have low testosterone and they're highly estrogenized and blah mm-hmm. blah blah. But the real truth is, there hasn't been a man in the home to beat the shit out of them when they got out of line. Exactly. I, I there was no memory. old man. There was no old man love where it was like, you know, yeah. you crossed that line. Like I remember yeah. growing up, dude, my mom would look at us and mm-hmm. she goes, if I have to tell your dad and that was it. Yeah. You'd stop. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, that guy would literally regulate your yeah. ass would be grass. But nowadays, yeah. bro, these kids, they just play video games and mm-hmm. they say, okay, mom, whatever. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's leaves, Cause what's mom going to do. Right. And that's where I work. I work at a high school, man. I work, I work at a, uh, down here in Texas at a high school now. And it's like, you know, they'll say the generation, the generation, well, the generation's only like that because the one before it didn't do its job. Exactly. Like, like, there's, there's something that didn't trickle down. And uh, I'm telling you, man, I don't think the public actually knows how bad and how worse off these kids are. It, oh, it's, 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 it's bad. It is it's a disaster. disaster. It's a good way to put it. It is a disaster, man. It, I mean, and, and you know, and look, and I, you know, I have a 14 and 12 year old and thank God yeah. they're in Florida now with my ex. Yeah, And she's stepping up to the plate, you know, we're yeah. still financing them, but like, at least mm-hmm. they're in Florida, which is, as right. you know, a normal quote unquote system and that they can right. go to school and not have to wear masks and not exactly. deal with any of the bullshit. But right. uh, this is the, this is the disaster causer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of these kids under the age of 25, Corey grew up with this in their hand. Yeah. They did not learn discernment. They do not have critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about this, bro. And again, I'm not talking shit. I'm not throwing shade. I mean, if you and I grew up in this generation, we'd probably be the same because like, why would you work hard when you can ask the screen for the answer? Exactly. Exactly. And then the demons realized, oh, we can manipulate the data on the screen to lie Mm -hmm. to the kids. Right. Right. So they have no clue. Right. You know, and I, I posted something today. I was talking about, uh, I was talking about uh, how bodies looked in ancient cultures, ancient civilizations, and pretty much everybody was sub twenty percent body fat. And you know, a lot of that just came from labor. It just That's came right, from labor, yeah. from walking, work, from place work. Place. fucking right. work. Exactly. And it is not so much making things. We we didn't. I would say we didn't really advance. We just made things easier. That's right. But easy is not optimal. You know, That's easy right. weakens you. It weakens I you as a man. It weakens you as a woman. Is not optimal. And so it's, 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 it's a rough, it's a rough fight every day. <laughs> every day. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's like for you, man. I mean, we, you know, we, and you know, we can talk about this for a second, but like, yeah. you know, I just remember, cause obviously we were homeschooling our kids, you know, cause I, my, my two, my two daughters have never had a single shot, like nothing. Yeah. Like I'm like super, no, no, yeah. but like they were here, you know, in this distance learning homeschool shit. Mm-hmm. And what an absolute farce that was. I mean, you know, yeah. how is a teacher supposed to govern a classroom of 30 to 40 kids or maybe 25 to 30, depending on what city you're in, mm-hmm. where they're remote? Right. I would go into my 12 year old and she would be playing roadblocks next to while the school lecture or whatever the class setting. I mean, the whole thing is a farce. I mean, you know, in the last week, they've been releasing standardized test scores across the country. And bro, mm-hmm. people are essentially five or six points over mental retardation at this yeah, point. Without a doubt. And you, you had a whole transition recently with COVID when everything was in remote learning. Work was in remote learning. Now, yeah, that's what my buddy was saying the other day. He was yeah. like, dude, here's the other thing that you don't realize. Imagine all of the systems in your home mm-hmm. that haven't actually had anybody optimizing or providing maintenance on them because all of these people have been literally eating Cheetos and Doritos at their house, supposedly yeah. monitoring their job when we both right. know they are not. Right. right. Yeah. Everything is broken. 
Yeah. I mean, everything is this close, right? Like you said yeah. at the beginning of the show, we're on the precipice. We're on the yeah. precipice of the golden age, but we got to go through the dark night, you yeah. know, of the soul for all yeah. of humanity before we yes. can get there. Because all these systems are got, they got to collapse, bro. Yeah, yeah, they do. And that, that's why it's so, it's so important to have your household in order. Because that's that's where your feet are. That's that's, that's where you that's lay your it. head. You know, and, and that's where so much trauma and so much issues start is in the household. So you got to have it in order, man. Yeah, bro. So, so one of the other points or something, we got three or four more to talk about, but transfer, yeah. I'm sorry, frequencies and athletic performance. I, yeah. I love that. Talk about that. Yeah, man. So I, I, uh, I came across uh, 528 Hertz not so long ago. And for those who don't know, um, talking about the Solfeggio frequencies, yep. there's, there's a nine scales discovered by a Gregorian monk many, many, many nights ago. And uh, it was used in more recent history as far as people like Royal Rife, who actually cured cancer uh, with musical frequencies before they, the CIA and FBI took his work. Um, also doctors in the eighties as well too. And so what these frequencies do is they do certain things to your DNA, oh, yeah. uh, do certain things to your body. They heal, um, cause different uh, metaphysical components to your life. And so uh, I started applying them to athletic performance and I've seen some crazy results uh, from some of my, my, my top tier athletes. And, and I'm talking about, uh, I'll give you an example. I had some kids running at a track meet not so long ago. And we're talking uh, in the 100 meters and 200 meters, we're talking 0.9 to or 0.09 to 0.1 seconds uh, faster within a night wow. off, off wow. of frequency protocols. That's that's, yeah. that's, that's superhuman. So my, my quest now as far as my athletic performance, because I'm in a profession that's that's so so Americanized and so Western and so stuck on the next thing. And how can we include more technology when in actuality it was ancient culture that's way more advanced than us from an energetic standpoint. And so I'm trying to tap into that for our athletics and, and see where it goes. And I, I found some new frequencies. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user, maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below the peptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Can you can you like uh, like expand a little bit on that? Like, are you using specific tech? I mean, I, I understand the the gilhertz and or the kilohertz, but like uh, yeah. any specific techs that you're using? Yeah, um, I'm really just kind of you know what it's kind of where you you fall into a, a divine gift, man. I'll be honest with you, I, I don't use. I learn about athletes. Say say I'm doing I'm working privately with an athlete. I learn yeah. about them. I learn about I watch interviews of them. I uh, speak to them. I got to know where their spirit is at. I got to know how they vibrate. So I know what to what, what protocol to give them. So take, for instance, it may be uh, a 741. 741 uh, cleanses the body, rids of negative energy, um, uh, more self-expression. They may be on that for 12 hours in a day as much as you can. And then for nighttime, we're going to dial down to 432. It's a lower frequency. Frequency of, of, of earth, if you will. A lot of people believe that. And it's a recovery protocol. So it's different protocols depending on the athlete. Very cool, man. Uh, I apologize. If you're hearing a beep in the background, I just texted my wife. I think one oh, of good. our smoke alarms is giving you that notification that the battery needs to be replaced, which oh, is hilarious because I only have like two more weeks in my house. You know, I, I don't know if I've <laughs> told you, but we sold, we're moving to Mexico. So, oh, awesome, okay, so um, transfer of energy. Yeah. So this has always been a fascinating thing to me because as you know, we literally are nothing more than energy and frequency. I mean, right. you know, vibration, you know, obviously Tesla talked about that. Mm -hmm. you know, anybody who is a student of, you know, the ancients yes. uh, understands that we are literally energy beings. I mean, yes. literally we are both biophotonic plasmatic discharge. Right. You know, when people see us like actually outside of our physical bodies as like a soul spirit essence, we would literally mm -hmm. be like an orb. Yeah. Like a Taurus. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, in my profession with coaching, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's somewhat sales, you know, it's, it's emotion uh, I have to get an athlete to do what I want them to do somehow, some way for me personally, I love using music, you know, that yeah, you, you have sure. to put yourself and set yourself and create the environment for yeah. change to happen. You know, that's, that's how ch it, uh, change only happens through a, a created environment, I believe. And, um, 100%. and that's what I do in my, in my lifts. And, and that's, that's, that's the main way that I do it is through, through music and sound. I, I think that what's happening in society right now to kind of go back to that is, is a very dark energy that's being transferred into people. Oh you know? yeah. 
people people are, are angry over over what? Because I don't believe what you believe, you know, because over over a Facebook post, you know, and they don't even recognize that they're being manipulated and being controlled and literally spells are being cast upon them without them knowing that is a transfer of energy. You know, so my job and in, in not just from a professional standpoint, but from a personal standpoint, how can I give more light to people? How can I be, bring more more resonance to them in a positive way? How can I raise their vibrational chart um, because of um, where I'm sitting at? You know, and, and that's 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 something that I think is critical moving forward as far as change and kind of winning back as many souls as possible. It's beautiful, man. I mean, you you are by being a resonant being amongst other people automatically raising their vibration, right? Because yes. resonance transmutes dissonance. Coherence overcomes incoherence. Right. I mean, it's it's all true. I mean, these are obviously the laws of quantum physics and maybe yeah. quantum entanglement if you really want to break it down. But like, this is not woo-woo anymore. I mean, no. like, you know, I can make all sorts of explanations on how like your positive, loving, you know, sending a light-based frequency mm -hmm. can transmute any kind of evil. It can transmute any kind of negative right. harm or uh, attempt to, to inst institute fear or anxiety or victimhood into a person. So you're right. right, man. Like all we have to do is, you know, when these, when you hear the word, be the change or be the light, that's yeah. what you have to do. You're, you're standing your ground as being the light. Right. And, and you know, Jay, what I've been into recently, I've been getting into a uh, biosignatures and biogeometry, you know, a lot of work done by uh, Dr. Ibrahim Kareem. Yeah. Um, do you have the bio, the bio, the biogeometry uh, pendant? Do you have that? I do not. I do not. Okay. I, I, I'll I do. send you a link to that. Yeah. I, I have that. I'm not wearing it right now, but I have yeah. that. I have the uh, energy emitter paper. I have sure. that, but yeah. stuff like that, right? So it, since it's tangible, since it's since it's out in the open now, it's not just some woo woo. You know, colors, sound. How can yeah. we start really changing lives and changing souls and changing how people see things, just from from the things that are around us? You know, right. we're capable of that because that's what they use on us, right? You know, without without us even knowing, that's what they use on us. So how can we flip that for more positive? And that's that's what I've been into as of lately. Bro, I'm more, I'm more, we have one more point, but I, I want to just segue with you because we can't. Yeah. When you say that's what they do on us, like I literally just for shits and giggles, like I hope, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we will. I just want to see them reveal themselves because I want to see the normies. Yeah. Like I want to see and watch and listen and whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I want to watch the normies react. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like I told you, it's like, I really think that people are so, I mean, you know, people talk about, you know, when's the zombie apocalypse coming? I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. we're in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. You know, the CDC had an ad about that. Um, yes. 2014, I want to say. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> and look, when I talk about the giant Nephilim, dude, go to Home Depot or Lowe's. They already have the giant skeleton Halloween costumes of these yes. beings. It's yes. like they're 18 to 20 feet. It's like, yes. where is that coming from? Well, really? they're slowly imprinting the consciousness yes. of people, like you said, mm -hmm. to make what was older new again. Right. Right. They're exactly. literally imprinting our consciousness. I, I'm telling you, my buddy sent me a picture last year mm -hmm. when he walked into a Home Depot and it was a picture of a giant Nephilim. Yep. And again, they're 18 feet. You know, they got the high ceilings of those places. And he's like, what the fuck is this all about? And I'm like, well, there you go. Predictive programming. Yes. Yes. People have no idea. Like I, I'm looking yeah. at, uh, you know, you know, one of the, one of the best things to do is cause I, I do do a lot of research on YouTube. I love watching different, just random different stuff. Sure. Sure. Uh, YouTube gives more, more information than your, your typical power five college nowadays. In the industry, so, indoctrination. so notice the ads, man. Like Twix has a commercial right now with a Ouija board. Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. All, you're just you're dumbing kids down. Oh, it's a Twix commercial. Not a big deal. You're dumbing kids down. Look at Taco Bell's commercial. I think it was last year. The Illuminati. Yeah. Exactly, man. Like people yeah. don't see it. How do you not? Well, no, they're again? constantly testing us. And well, I mean, you know, let's take it a step further. I mean, yeah. bro, every single show on Netflix yes. Yes. has either witches, yes. demons, mm -hmm. Lucifer. Yes. Satanic influences. Yes. I mean, it's like. I, I, I mean, I'll take it even, I'll go full blown woo and say, if you watch Stranger Things, mm -hmm. season four was the big reveal. Now, granted, they're doing it metaphorically, but they're literally yeah. talking about how Lucifer slash the Antichrist, whatever yeah. you want to call it, is literally yeah. coming back into this, mm -hmm. this dimension right. to take souls. And again, yes. I forget the name of the being. If you watch the show, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But whoever is the major uh, antagonist in the show is right. Lucifer. But it's like, you know, another name, I forget they call him. It's like this demonic being that crosses the dimensions. But it's like yeah. they're telling us. And oh, by the way, the mm -hmm. next Stranger Things episode or, or season doesn't mm -hmm. come out until 2025. 
Give me a break. So they're like already prepping us. Yes. That, for what right. is to come, dude. It's it's in you know a, a more recent thing, and people need to be aware of this. You know, people are so gun ho about this Jeffrey Dahmer series. Let me tell you something. <laughs> is it worth people, watching? I literally saw that. I, I, like, I, I haven't watched it. I haven't I'm watched like, it. Did I watch this shit? I mean, like they show yeah. people getting put in vat vats of vats of acid because that's what well, he did. Yeah. So I, I didn't watch it, but I'll tell you who did watch it was every single high school kid in right, America. right, every kid. And bro, don't be surprised with more serial killing cases coming oh, up in the next five years. Uh, cannibal qu- cases, all all this stuff. This is programming because he's he was made into a right. hero. Watch how exactly. many uh, Jeffrey Dahmer costumes we have on Monday. <laughs> yeah, no, hundred percent, bro. I literally just got a funny costume. I'll show you off air. I just got somebody yeah. sent me a screenshot of vaccine injuries on spirit. You know, it's a meme. Oh. But um, look, man. Yeah. We'll just end it by saying uh, it won't matter, bro. Because you and I both know the reason that you didn't get it is because you know what's coming from that. Right. right. And I have many, many scientists that are in my inner circle. You know, one of them is my business partner, Nick Andrews, who literally was one of the original guys with Malone and Mm. McCullough who was involved in in mRNA patenting. Yeah. And he told me, bro, in 19, uh, I'm sorry, 2018, Mm -hmm. before even anything happened with COVID, he was like just in a bullshit side, side, uh, you know, a a side star uh, conversation. He's like, Hey man, by the way, uh, I know you never let your kids get veed, but he's like, uh, if any chance in the future ever comes up where you have an mRNA type of, uh, you know, V or medication, never use it. And he told yeah. me that the reason was because none of the animals survived. Oh my God. So bro. So check that out. So literally they, they again, if you have an inner circle person who's telling you yeah. about mRNA, yeah. there are no, what they call third order effects because there's no third order survivors. My gosh. So again, it was a planned extermination mm-hmm. yeah. of the human race. Mm-hmm. And in a way that they could shield themselves from, you know, they indemnify themselves from any legal harm. Yeah. Uh, and ultimately, let's be honest, bro, they did it in a way where it wouldn't kill everybody right away, right. but it would change their autoimmune system to malfunction mm-hmm. so that big pharma could, you know, benefit and financially gain. Yeah. through their short life expectancy and let's face it, agonizing death yeah. from autoimmune disruption. Cause I mean, all of the ways that people are dying, I mean, look again, all you have to do is look out there, enhanced, more cancer, yeah. more heart disease, more yeah. vascular illness, uh, all sorts of herpes reemergences. Yeah. I mean, you're seeing like uh, what is called shingles, which is herpes zoster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 40 and 50 and 60 year old people are flaring with shingles. It's crazy. I mean, this is nasty shit. It was a bioweapon designed yes. to line the pockets of allopathic slash big pharma. Call it Rockefeller medicine. That's who it yeah. is. Yeah, no, no doubt. And and you 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 hit on the head with with bioweapon. That's exactly what it was. It it was it was a it was a terrorist attack on everybody in the world, man. That's exactly what it was. But the, the sad part is, is the terrorist attack was you know the Hegelian dialect. You have the problem, reaction, solution. Right. The problem was the bioweapon. Yeah. The solution was to kill everybody off with the V. God, you're, you're right. You're They're right. Genius. I mean, it's like, you know, was it was it P. Diddy? It said, don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, dude, all we can look at him is marvel at them. And again, Pierre Sabak says, he goes, you got to understand these are fallen angels. Mm-hmm. You know, these are beings that are literally 10x our yes. IQ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we can't even comprehend. They're thinking... Their scaled thinking again, emergent systems is they're literally creating uh, outcomes and scenarios yes. fifty years before it even happens to us, bro. You know, Mark Mark Passio talks a lot about this, yeah. and I'm sure the exit coaches yeah. he talks a lot about that. And but these people yeah. are working in a different dimension; they're ahead exactly. of the game. You know, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, they control time. Yeah. Yes. I mean, any person who ever has had a ufology experience. Mm-hmm. The great Jacques Vallée, who's the best UFO researcher on the planet, literally mm-hmm. has talked about that it's not an actual physical third dimensional experience. It's a conscious experience. Yes. So when they come into your room, they stop time mm-hmm. and they take your soul, they take your essence out of your physical body, which isn't even real. Yeah. And then that's when they you know, alter whatever they do to you. And so then they put you back in your body mm-hmm. and then they give you, you know, screen, a screen memory of what's happening. Wow. 
Wow. So you think of like, oh, you saw an insectoid or you saw a reptilian or you saw a gray alien mm -hmm. or whatever it is you saw. But these are screen memories to keep you low. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what all of it is. I mean, so, but a lot of us are knowing this now and figuring this out. So, bro, the truth is, yeah. and uh, is that there can't be much longer right. before, call it the shift, the convergence, the quickening, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, because yeah. like too many of us now know what's up. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Time they can't, running, they time can't, the, the, lid, the lid on the information now is not bottled up anymore. Right. The genies are out mm -hmm. of the bottle. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So the, what can the they bottom, do at this point? The bottle might have been CERN. Maybe not. Who knows? Right. Oh, shit, dude. I mean, there, I mean, that's <laughs> the thing is like you get to this level of awareness where you and I are and it's like you realize it's not a matter of knowing anything. It's a matter of remembering. Exactly. Because we definitely chose to forget mm -hmm. when we came into this third dimension, right? So yeah. it's like I get researching and studying and watching YouTube and I'm, you know, prolific mm -hmm. book reader and I just can't stop. But it's like yeah. you eventually just get to a point of like, you know what, man? Who gives a shit? Yeah. I already know everything. It's just a matter of remembering. Right now, it's about being uh, surrendered, mm -hmm. about recognizing the gods in charge. You know, I yeah. always use this statement from this guy, from Dr. Hawkins. You know, he literally says that everything is happening divinely as it is intended, yes. always yes. and in all ways. Yes. Very Resistance powerful. Resistance to that awareness is futile. Very powerful, man. I mean, that's it, man. So listen, bro, this is profound. I'm so grateful that you came on the show today. If people want to connect with you, do a podcast with you, what's the best way they can do that? Yeah, I'm, I'm mainly on Instagram, uh, coach underscore Corey Bell, first and last name. Okay. Um, and that's that. Yeah, that's that's where I do the most of my work at. Awesome, man. Well, I'll, can, I'll uh, in the podcast notes and stuff, I'll have a link to your Instagram account. But man, I appreciate you coming on. So all of you guys and gals that watch the Jay Campbell podcast, as always, support the amazing individuals that come on, support Corey, go to his Instagram account. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. I will see all of you guys very soon.